Hey, what's up, Snow Tracks viewers? I am here with a brand new 2024 Articat ZR600. This is in the Catalyst platform, brand new for 2024. And let me tell you, <clears throat> I had only heard about this sled. I had not seen, sat on, or ridden a Catalyst. Now I have, and I want you to know that it is really, really good. Articat has come back. The cat is back and they're doing some really cool stuff. Um, yes, I know right up, right up front, the overarching issue that people have is, well, it's only a 600 for 2024. I think that that will be remedied. Here's the thing. The 600 in this lightweight, low inertia chassis really delivers a lot. So if you're considering and you're like, well, you know what, I'm coming from an 800, I'm just not sure. This sled is quick. The only place that it lacks is on top end, big huge pulls when the lake opens up and you can be doing 110 plus miles an hour before that don't worry corner to corner on the trails there's nothing that's going to beat this when it comes to an 800 cc comparable um you know from arctic cat previous chassis this thing is awesome um, it's interesting to note some things that make it really sound more i would say it's more arctic cat hallmark where you know, it's a little bit more induction noise, a little bit more engine noise, just all those things that back in the 90s I used to think were so cool about Arctic Cats. You know, the sound of twin and triple exhaust pipes on a two stroke, those kind of things. The airbox, which is this whole plastic piece up front, this whole piece is the airbox. So, like, not that there's a panel that comes off of this, this is the top of the airbox. It gives it an induction noise that is super, super throaty, really cool, and has just a like a brappy, aggressive sound to it. I, I really like it a lot. I think that that's really cool. You're gonna see down here that it says first edition on the front bumper. It also says that on the rear bumper. This is a limited time, one time only, first edition, never gonna happen again. So that's something that's cool for people who get one for first year for 24. Obviously you can see <coughs> that we've got ATAC suspension on this one. It is available just with a regular coilover shock without ATAC. So you can get a more base model than this one, but I wanted to test the Primo because that's what I wanted to test. The whole suspension has changed from previous. So this is, this is a completely redesigned front end. I mean, the spindle on it is absolutely gorgeous. Just the milling and the cutting out of it and how everything looks. It's a really nice looking front spindle. Um, it's very minimalist looking, if I'm being honest. There's not a whole lot going on in the front end of the sled. Um, even like when you look at the springs, the spring diameter is super small compared to all of the competition and all the other sleds, as is the diameter of the body on this this shock. So that's something that's kind of unique, but I do know that Arctic Cat is trying to keep weight down. And on this sled, as compared to a 2023 ZR600, they're saying that it's 10% lighter weight, and it's also quite a bit lower inertia. So what that means is this sled is lighter because of a bunch of things they've done. Number one, that's kind of the hallmark and really rounds it out, is the fact that it's got a belt drive on the other side. That's an industry first. Not that belt drive is an industry first, but belt drive on trail is an industry first. Nobody else has done this yet. So that's something that's interesting to, to note. And because they've gone with a belt drive, they can get the power down to the ground in uh, a much more efficient way, which reduces the actual inertia because there's less moving parts, less weight in those moving parts. So something interesting to note, this sled does get up on top of the snow um, and get going quicker. When you, when you blip the throttle, it's, it's there, it's propelling forwards, and it's moving quicker than you might expect. So nice feature. Um, side panels and fit and finish is actually really good. They're, they're doing a good job with it. Um, I, you know, the, the, the typical kind of half turn buttons, I don't know whether I like them or not, but um, it is what it is, and it's not really that big of a deal. It's not something that I, I should gripe too much about. There's three for each side panel, and then when you want to take off the top hood, it's two Zeus fasteners. Uh, they're like quarter, two, quarter turn Zeus fasteners, and the whole entire front hood comes off, which is really nice because you can access things under the hood really easily. And that's something we appreciate about like Polaris snowmobiles. You know, if you want to take that whole top hood piece off, you don't need a tool trail side, nor do you for the catalyst. So that's, that's a nice feature and something that Articat listened to and has been able to respond to in a good way. Um, when it comes to the ergonomics and the way that you fit on this sled, it's, I would, I would say it's most like a motocross bike as compared to any other snowmobile. It is just so narrow in the midsection. The tank, it's, it's just really, really narrow. It feels like a motocross bike. And that means that you can move yourself around on this snowmobile 
super easily. You can slide from left to right, be right up against the side panel, doing the typical Arctic Cat brochure shot where you're hanging right off this thing down over the front ski, just hanging it out and going through a corner at, you know, 90. Um, it's easy to move on this sled. <clears throat> and the engineers from Arctic Cat have always been about that kind of snow crossy, racy, you know, jumping ditch lines and, and being aggressive. That's always been a hallmark there. And this snowmobile really takes that to the next level. So props to Arctic Cat for doing this. Um, it's, it's a complete departure from what we've known Arctic Cat wise. And it's, it's, it really is taking Arctic Cat into the future. This catalyst platform, there is going to be a bigger motor eventually. Don't worry, it's going to happen. Will there be a four stroke in this chassis? I don't know. I don't know if they can fit one in there. I, there's, just, there's just not a lot of room. I mean, this body panel, body work is like, it's like spandex tight on this thing, man. I don't know if there's room for a four stroke. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe there is. But for right now, a bigger two stroke will be, will be welcomed, I know. But I think that Arctic Cat taking a year to get things figured out to let the 600 work out the kinks and get things moving forwards is not a bad idea. Um, and and I, I believe next year we will see something else in the, in the power plant department. Um, some of the other kind of cool things, nice LED headlight on it. Uh, it's pretty, pretty bright and, and very low profile. Looks nice um, <clears throat> up front. Still has the old school Arctic Cat gauge. I can imagine that probably in the near future with the competition having so many cool gauges that Arctic Cat will also increase that and put some kind of a screen on, uh, you know, with a GPS, some built-in apps, that kind of thing. But right now it's still the standard one that you've had um, for the past few years. But there is a cool little trunk under here. Uh, I like this a lot better than the uh, old school Arctic Cat um, kind of, you know, bag trunk that was in front of the handlebars. This one is nice. It still does have perforated holes down in the bottom. So if you put your goggles in here, which goggles do fit perfectly, uh, the heat from the engine comes up and will, um, you know, take the fog away if you got a set of goggles that's fogged. Fits nice, fit and finish on here is very clean, very tidy. Handlebars, switch cluster, throttle, all of this stuff up here is exactly the same as previous sled. It hasn't changed. It's, it's the same stuff. It works fine. Um, you know, maybe it's a little bit behind as compared to some of the other manufacturers, but it still does its job and it works good. Uh, this sled will come with um, heat advisor on all of the catalyst platform or all the catalyst uh, vehicles. They will all come with a, an RCA cable so you can plug in your visor. Uh, when you move out back, they have a new attachment system called attach. So it's just this cool, simple mounts with rubber covers that keep it looking clean. I, I really like this. I think this is probably the cleanest looking system in the industry. Very tidy. And I don't have any accessories here right now to show you, but Arctic Cat says that they are the fastest attachment system in the industry. I don't know, maybe we'll have to have an attachment system race to see whether that's true or not. But what I can tell you is that it's very clean, very tidy, and I think this is gonna perform. While we're down here, <clears throat> Something interesting to see. So the running boards kind of look flat black and that's because they're composite. Composite is also another word for plastic in my opinion. And I was co very concerned about that, but Arctic Cat's done their testing and they've worked through it. It does have a steel subframe underneath, but it's a plastic running board. There is a mount uh, and, and a piece underneath here. You can't actually see it because it looks so seamless, but these rivets are holding on an L bracket underneath. And you can see there's extra width in between the tunnel and the running board. That's how they get these same running boards to work for the mountain sled and for the trail sled and for the crossover. They take this L bracket out for the mountains and the running board choop, comes in, what, an inch and a quarter? And on the trail and crossover stuff, it's out a little bit further. So that's the same, same plastics as down here, same material. Um, and that bracket underneath also includes the rear skid mount. So that changes with the mountain one as well. And it brings the running board in and changes obviously the, the rear mount for the uh, rear suspension. Something kind of cool to note. So those are some of the kind of hallmark interesting features of this sled. The rear suspension is a <clears throat> variation of the slide action. Really good riding rear suspension. Um, this one obviously has ATAC, so you've got some control over that while you're riding. Uh, overall, I'm really intrigued to see how this plays out and how Arctic Cat expands on what they already have right now. But as a starting point for 2024 with 
only a 600 series, whether it be Riot, Mountain, or ZR on Trail. I really do think that they've got something here, and there's a lot to work off of and a lot to build off of. We'll see where they go in the future, but for right now, I gotta tell you, I'm very impressed with the Articat Catalyst platform. I'm very impressed with the features it's, it's delivering um, and the rideability and ergonomics. This sled does feel very light. It is very nimble. It's very flickable. It's, you can move around on it really easy. It rails corners. It stays flat. It rides through bumps really, really well. The position that you ride on this and the centralized mass, that's another thing to talk about. The engine is one inch lower, one inch further back than, than previous Articat models. So they're centralizing the mass in a really big way. And I know one inch doesn't sound like a lot. When you're talking about a platform and chassis that's this tight with a big 600cc two-stroke motor in it, it's really hard to move stuff and get things in there. This one does that in a really good way. And I'm excited to see where Articat takes us in the future. And I'm excited to see what a bigger mill displacement will be and do and feel like in this because there's definitely, definitely a lot of life in this chassis. I seem to always forget to start snowmobiles up and let you guys hear what it sounds like. So I'm gonna do that. And you can probably hear the air box noise and kind of that induction and that, that snappy sort of responsiveness. But make sure if you like these videos, you hit the like and subscribe button, ring that bell and keep checking out all of our stuff. It sounds so good. Best sounding 600 in the business.